Well, have you tried out an electric scooter in Denver yet? There are now five companies renting scooters to help people get around. This morning, we wanted to know who picks them up, charges them overnight, and makes sure they get put out back each morning in the right place. Denver 7 reporter Eric Lufer is live for us now with some answers, Eric. Good morning. It's train stations, bus stations like Iconic Union Station here where it's the easiest to find a scooter. Too early this morning for any of them. They're going to be set out earlier, but that's when you get that question. Who does maintain these scooters? Who makes sure they get to the right place? Well, it turns out each company is different. Some have staff to do it. Others hire outside companies. Some hire locals who want some extra cash. We talked with the director of strategic development for Lime Scooters. Listen. So it's a combination of our full-time on-the-ground team here of employees as well as regular Denver residents. Uh, anybody can sign out to be what we call a juicer. We will have our people go out and collect them, bring them back to our warehouse. We'll fix on them, work on them, make sure that our quality control and mechanical guys um, check them off, make sure they're ready to go the next morning to be ridden again. So juicers make between 5 and $20 per scooter. They pick up and charge and then put back in place if you want a job, if you want a side hustle. You can always go to the website of your favorite scooter company here in town and see if they're hiring. I'm downtown, Eric Lufer, Denver 7.